Hello LGs, ladies and gents, ABs, Ageless Beauties. This is the lady. Welcome back to my channel. As you guys can tell, I am on the road again. Um, in the background, I'm in a hotel. And over here, you guys, is my swimsuit. I am wearing my workout outfit because I walked a little bit. It started to drizzle here in Richmond. And... Um, I had to cut my walk short and then I went out for breakfast now I'm back and I'm gonna go downstairs and hit the treadmill since I didn't get all of my walk in and then I plan to go swimming after that I'm gonna have lunch with my daughter <laughs> just a lot is going on but I wanted to come in and just kind of touch base with you guys because I know it's been a minute since I uploaded a video and that is because my daughter just graduated college and we are like you know recovering I mean the whole Memorial Day weekend has been filled with activities and if you're following me on Facebook Instagram you've probably seen some of the pictures that I posted up um, during that during this weekend okay but what I wanted to come in and just talk with you guys about just a little bit just a little bit like I said I'm running okay but the unit I'm wearing you guys this is um, someone wanted me to kind of just go over what a medical cap really is and the you know the difference between wearing just a, a wig and a medical cap so um, medical caps are different from wearing you know just regular wigs or lace wigs even now some people can wear you know all all these things okay there there are some people who can wear no wigs no matter what what kind they are but a medical wig is really designed for people and I'm saying people because men and children wear medical wigs when they're going through um, chemo, radiation, um, some form of a hair loss uh, due to alopecia or some other uh, illness or disease or uh, hereditary, you know, Im some kind of Im imbalance in your, your, your system, okay? And you're losing your hair. And instead of them going out and just buying uh, a regular wig, they need a medical cap wig. And these medical cap wigs are designed to uh, keep from irritating their already um, sensitive skin or scalp, okay? So the unit that uh, I sell most of the units that I sell the thin skins the silicones um, those those types of units those are medical cap wigs okay um, you can get mono tops instead of lace you know uh, the mono top is a little bit thicker or, or the net um, the mono top you guys is um, it's like lace only the net the the holes in the moto is more uh, um, more together so you don't see uh, the the knots like you do on a lace wing when you get mono top so uh, a lot of people get the Jewish cap wigs those are usually mono cap wigs and those also are more uh, natural looking and softer than you know the rough lace uh, all of these medical caps are really just to keep from irritating your skin or uh, I just bit my tongue It's designed to keep from irritating your skin your scalp and especially when you're going through uh, chemo and radiation and or some kind of medical a procedure you don't want that irritation and so thin skins and silicones and monotops 
those are a little on the higher side of the price bracket, but it is because they are designed for medical reasons. These are the ones that the doctors sign off for you to get and your insurance, some insurance companies, I don't know how long that is going to last with our new administration, but um, some of the medical insurance companies will, um, with a, the doctor's approval, will sign off for you to get a medical cap wig uh, once a year, okay? So um, that's pretty much what I wanted to come in and just you know, share with you guys what the difference between a medical cap wig and just your regular everyday uh, full cap wigs or lace wigs, okay? Um, the unit that I am wearing, like I said, this is a full silk top, you guys, but it has the silicone around the hairline. I do not have it adhered down at all. That's another benefit of a medical cap wig is you can wear it okay without adhesive and that's a good thing because again when you're going through chemo radiation or whatever you need to be able to pull your unit off and you don't want it adhered down with tape or liquid adhesive because you need to remove it um, when you're when you're going through your procedures and uh, this particular unit you guys sticks on my skin and it is skin to it is skin to skin contact um like it's i want i just want to reiterate these are for people who have lost their hair pretty much all of their hair if not you know hair around the hairline so this particular one is for uh, those of you who lost your hair around the hairline, I'm going to turn around and do a 360 so you guys can see. But this unit, you guys, I had it on the whole weekend with my daughter uh, graduation program. Um, and you guys, no movement, no slippage, no, n no, no anything, okay? No adhesive, no tape, no glue, no bobby pins, no elastic band. There is a strap in the back on this particular unit, but I do not use it because it is, I mean, it fits my head perfectly, okay? So I don't need the straps in the back to be adjusted. Actually, I think I have them in the very um, first um, very first holes because this thing is already like sticking to my skin and my scalp and so it's not moving at all I like I said I've been working out uh, I, I ran a little bit and you know no slippage nothing okay getting ready to go to the pool I'm gonna show I'm gonna take some pictures of me in the pool um, I may submerge you not you shouldn't submerge your I'm, I'm trying to keep this under 10 you guys so I'm looking at the time but um, I'm gonna get in the pool with this unit on I'm going to submerge and you know just swim around a little bit so you can see that even with um, no tape or glue on this unit because it is silicone it's gonna stay on my head even while I swim okay so that's the that's the final test that I'm going to be doing on this but like I said I'm not worried at all I know this is going to stay on this thing is on my head like it's glued down okay so um, yeah so let me just do the 360 right quick It's nine nine minutes have already passed and I'm rambling but this is the way I've had this up for a couple of days now okay All right, you guys, so this is my messy bun look, uh, just to, you know, kind of work out in, and um, 
yeah uh, like I said this is a full full silk top okay with the silicone around the hairline not the thin skin the thin skin doesn't hold as well as the silk top especially you guys in this area right here by the ear tabs okay this the silicone you know really conforms all over your head it just sticks to your skin like like glue okay whereas the thin skin will only um, stick to like the crown and in the front and back but around the ear tabs it'll flap up a little bit okay so that's the difference between the silicone and the thin skin so I just wanted you to I wanted to come in and answer uh, the question about what a medical cap really is and I hope this is helpful to you guys so thanks for watching be blessed and a blessing this is the lady signing off for now for now be blessed and a blessing and this is the lady signing off for now bye bye